Today in Homemade Science, we're looking at flying dolls. Here's my flight crew. I found hair dryers just aren't strong enough, but this small shop vac is able to lift a few of the lighter dolls. Now let's go on and try this larger shop back. Face that way. I found Mr. Potato Head to be the most challenging of the group, but he did fly. Next up, I'll use compressed air from this air compressor. I would have thought this baby bottle would fly better with the cap, but it turns out it flew better without it. Next up, which hairstyle is going to be better for flying? As with all the other dolls, it appears that a smooth head flies much better than one with hair. So how is it the air going over the top of the head is able to lift these dolls up? To answer that question, we have to take a look at the pattern of the airflow. The string shows us that the airflow follows to the curve of the baby's head, and that's an example of the coando effect. It feels like the airflow stops following the curve of the head towards the top of the forehead. The fast moving air causes a reduction above the baby's head, and the atmosphere lifts it from underneath it. The airstream is not only moving over the top of the baby's head, it's also moving around the sides of it. With the air pressure reduced on the sides of the baby's head, atmospheric pressure helps to hold the baby in the airstream. When holding onto the doll, it's impressive to feel these forces in action. This has been Homemade Science with Bruce Cheney. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit that subscribe button because there's a lot more demonstrations I want to show you. Thanks for watching. Bye.